The last type of passage is the humanities passage. And like the social science passages, the humanities passages cover a wide variety of topic. A humanities passage could be about art or ethics. It could even be an essay or speech by a famous historian or about a well-known historic moment or maybe just working through emotions. The humanities passages can best be described as informative with a purpose. So having a purpose does not necessarily mean that there's a bias, though a bias is possible. The purpose of the passage could be to describe a concept in order to build to a conclusion. So no matter what, your job is to determine the purpose of the passage, right? Why did the author write this? Also, like the social science passages, the language of the humanities passage can be dense or contain unfamiliar vocabulary. So what you hear in your head is going to vary. Depending on your interest and what you read in your own time, you may look out with a passage that keeps you interested. And when your interest is peaked, you will be able to read a bit faster and retain or remember the content. So this means that the more interested you are, the more clearly you will hear your brain voice in your head as you're reading. On the other hand, if you find the passage boring, then you do not want to get bogged down. So instead, you'll need to increase your reading speed because you're more likely to have to return to the passage for more questions. You will need to save time during the passage reading in order to have more time when answering the questions. So if you are less interested in the content, then skim and focus on the structure of the passage and determining both the main idea of the passage and the author's purpose in writing it. And remember, when you skim, you will still hear your brain voice when you read certain parts. The rest of the time is more of that mumble, quick, moving along and then rephrasing after you've read a section, especially if the text is dense. So to recap, when reading a humanities passage, you hear most of the words using your brain voice and your intonation to help understand the subtext. When necessary, you check for understanding by rephrasing again with that brain voice parts of the passage in your own words. Primary focus is on the main idea and passage structure while also looking for why did the author write this.